Praise the Lord, everybody, on this magnificent Monday. I am the evangelist, the end time, on time prophet, Pastor Alfred L. Calvert. And the reason I try to encourage somebody every day is because the enemy is trying to discourage most of us, if not all of us, all day, every day. I want to talk to you about don't allow your conditions to control your life, but to control the conditions your life is in. From experience, I'm uh, uh, on a deathbed. The doctor tell me if you keep the leg, you are going to die. If we amputate the leg, there is still a 70% chance you are still going to die. I looked at my ex-wife, uh, Patricia, at that time in California, and uh, I had to make a conscious decision, even in the state I was in. I had to make a decision. I knew I didn't want to die. I wanted to live. And so I bet it on the 30% chance to live. Uh, I thought, I thought within myself, I said, now if they take the leg, I didn't know, know anything about rehabilitation or prosthetics or crutches. I had been walking upright on two legs all of my life. But now I'm faced with a challenge. I'm in a condition where I have to either keep the leg and die or lose the, uh, or, 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 or they take the leg, still a chance I'm going to die. So I thought within myself, if they take the leg, I always wanted to be a broadcaster. I always wanted to be a DJ from childhood. So I thought within myself, I'm in a condition here. I said, if they take the leg, okay. But I still have a voice. I have something left that I can do to make a living and take a chance at being successful. I have a voice. And so I lost the leg. I went to rehab and immediately after rehab, I went to Los Angeles School of Broadcasting under Don Tracy, who was a famous DJ at that time. I finished number one in my class. I was on the air at KAGBFM Inglewood, California in the Imperial Bank building before I graduated from broadcasting school. That was 41 years ago. I fathered a daughter who graduated from UCLA, who has given me two beautiful grandchildren, Eli and Isley. I have a son, Alfred, who's given me a wonderful, beautiful grandson, Grayson Alexander. I'm an author. I have used my voice 41 years later to encourage people because I did not allow the condition to control my life, but I controlled the condition my life was in. So what am I saying? Anything negative in your life, cut it out, cut it off. Don't allow it to control your life but move on with life in Jesus' name. God bless you, and I love you today.